Great, let's now focus our attention on a story that has so many of you talking on social media. An Asian lady in Webuye has resolved that neither her parents nor her community will stop her from marrying the love of her life. She has sworn to marry a Bukusu man, defying her culture which forbids them from marrying outside their community. And as Katie and Francis on Tomo reports, the two lovebirds have become quite a sensation in Nangina village of Webuye, Bungoma County. Take a look. Okay, ali ali ingia kazi siku ya kwanza alikuwa ameanza kuosha gari na mimi nikimingilia kwa how can two people wash one car that was our first conversation alikuwa na wash gari ndio alinita tusaidiane kuosha gari confessions of a real love bred in the village a love that has gone against race religion social hierarchy and better still color it is a chilly rainy day here the setting is Nangina village in Webuye. The character is 24-year-old Sarika Patel and the man of the moment, the tall and dark-skinned 25-year-old Timothy Hamala, a palpably shy Bukusu young man that has got everyone talking in the village. I'm in love and I fell in love with a boy called Timothy M. Kamala. I met him when he came to work in my place and we've been in a relation of four years. It's been great living with him. <laughs> ana kalicha ile wa hindi ni ule ni msichana mwenye anagri kama afrika yani kama tu normal tu normal person ni anataka naishi kwa sababu yeye mwenyewe yeye kazi nini hata kazi nyingi hapo ndani tulikuwa tunakifanya mimi nikianza kufanya utabada pia anakuja kufanya and just like a witch riddle there has been a thorny journey in this beat up dark and poorly lit hut the two have lit the flames of their love we arrive moments after Sarika's relatives have just left. Their mission was to pluck out the beauty from the shackles of this homestead. They want her out. But Sarika has adamantly stuck to her guns. The problem is that I'm with an African, not his poverty or anything. But just because he's an African, he's a different color, he's a different culture, that's why they're against this relation. An easygoing Sarika portrays an aura of confidence and buoyancy. She goes about her chores with ease. She is daughter of a wealthy Indian businessman and their meeting was as dramatic four years ago. At the time, Timothy was a casual laborer at Sarika's family business in Webuye. Kidogo akaanza kuomba namba yangu, nikajificha, nikajificha namba yangu siku mpya. Kabidi hata simu nificha. Na nificha simu mbali kabisa vinyata hawezi pata, lakini kuna ndugu yake mmoja. Alienda kwake kama anaoga na akaiba simu yake and then slowly slowly nikaanza kumfuata nikitafuta namba yake nikijaribu kuongea naye pole pole tukaanza tukaingia kwa urafiki and urafiki ka change kwa mapenzi she has adopted Timothy's son who calls her mother and more interesting is her relationship with her mother-in-law Evelyn Hamala amenipenda nilikuwa mkonjo wa ajabu akakuja hospitali the village is old and for the Indian in-laws this man fires an assurance. As he makes steps into a whole new world filled with challenges, one can only hope someone will allow the flower of love to sprout. It will sound like something drawn from the movies or better still from the books of fiction but the love between Sarika and Timothy defies it all and it's a testament that nothing can come in between two people. Francis Ontomwa, KTN, Nangini Village, Inwebuye.